Hey everyone, so welcome to Sunday afternoon, if you can hear me. <laughs> I am just uh, making lunch right now. Uh, Glenn's not hungry, so I'm going to cook up this Spencer steak and put it on toasted bread. Uh, we ate the others last night for supper, and I didn't want this one to just sit in the refrigerator, so I'm just going to have it for lunch since Glenn's not hungry. He said he's just going to wait for supper, which is going to be beef tips tonight. And I'm going to actually cook them on, on the stove top. So, yeah, right after I eat lunch, I'll start cutting up the roast for that. Uh, otherwise, we had bagels this morning. Glenn had some coffee. I had cappuccino. I'm doing a load of laundry right now. Just got done washing some dishes. So, yeah, just a quiet Sunday afternoon. So, I'm going to go ahead and cook up this... Uh, this is a Spencer steak that I usually get from the meat market. That was onion powder. Now I'm just going to put some salt and pepper on there. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cook this up and then I'll show you when it's done. All right, there is my lunch for this Sunday afternoon. It's a Spencer steak on toasted bread, and I actually just put the bread in the toaster and some honey barbecue chips. So as you can see, that Spencer steak is pretty thick for uh, that type of uh, for that type of uh, steak there. All right, I'm gonna enjoy the lunch, and then I'm gonna get to uh, cooking up the cutting up the roast for the beef tips. All right, everyone, so I am getting ready to uh, dice up this uh, roast. It's a 2.73 pound Black Angus boneless rump roast. And then I'm gonna dice it up into stew meat, I guess. And then I've got some uh, sliced up onion and mushrooms in there. So after I dice this stuff, I'm gonna put it in uh, the bowl, throw some olive oil on it, seasonings, mix it up, and then I'm gonna throw some flour in it. So it flours all the cubed meat and then fry it up just to brown it. Take it out, fry up the onions and the mushrooms, and then put the meat back in and get that gravy going. So, all right, so I'm going to start dicing up this uh, roast and I'll be back. All right, everyone, so you can see I got the roast all diced up. Now these, uh, I left bigger pieces in. Those are the bigger fat pieces. Those are going to create flavor and juice, but I left them as big pieces so I know what they are. So yeah, that's that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and season this up, flour it up, get some oil on the stove, and we'll get cooking this. I'm going to add some onion powder. Even though there's going to be actual fresh onions in there, uh, we always just like to use some onion powder. It has a good smell and a good flavor. Just some uh, salt. I'm not going to put too much salt in because there's going to be other stuff in there. Uh, pepper. And I'm going to put a little bit of garlic powder in there. Not too much because I don't want it to overwhelm with garlic taste. That's good. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to go ahead and get some oil on the stove. I haven't done that yet, so let me get that going. Alright, so the one thing I forgot is to uh, mix it up in uh, flour. So I'm just going to put some flour in here. And that's going to help thicken up the gravy. Now I haven't made beef tips too often. I think I made it one other time in the slow cooker. 
and this time we're gonna just try it on the stove top all right all right so we're gonna just check the heat of the oil seems to be okay so I'm gonna go ahead and dump this in now and if I didn't put enough flour on this if it doesn't you know we don't want a super thick gravy just a we just want like a juicy enough gravy we can pour over or whatever. Let me take this spoon out. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and brown up this, all these uh, tips. And then once they're brown, I'll take them out, throw the mushrooms and onions in there with a little bit of butter. Get those sauteed so the onions are like translucent and then uh, start adding everything in. I'm also going to add in, let me grab it, a pack of this Lipton onion soup mix. So we just happen to have one left, so we'll be using that as well. I'll probably throw in a little bit of uh, either soy sauce or A1 sauce, beef broth. So, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and brown these and I'll be back. Okay, so all this uh, beef is just about browned up and you can see how it's already creating a little thick gravy on the bottom here and that's from the flour, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pour this in a bowl, come back and saute the onions and the mushrooms. Alright, just going to throw a little butter in there and wait for that to get all warm again. I just splattered all over the stove. I've been splattering all over the wall. I don't think I could keep up with uh, wiping it all down every time I splatter. All right, so I'm gonna throw the mushrooms and onions in there. I myself don't care for this, but Glenn likes it, so sometimes I just like to make stuff how he likes it. Uh, it's big enough that I think I can pick it out. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and saute this stuff and I will be back pouring back the meat in. Alright, so you can see it's coming along sautéing. I've scraped off a lot of the stuff from the sides and the bottom. So it's sautéing pretty nice. I'll sauté it for a few more minutes and then I'm going to bring the beef tips back, throw them in, and then instead of water, uh, we're going to use um, beef broth. And then I'll also throw in the packet of Lipton onion soup mix. I think we're just going to not try the soy sauce or A1 sauce. Um, Glenn is not a fan of soy sauce to begin with and we'll just eliminate those those things right now. So, Alright, let me go grab the beef tips, throw them in here. I think this is going pretty good. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. I'm going to put some of the beef broth in here, mix it up to get all this stuff out of it. There we go. All right. I got a second can of beef broth to put in there. Right. 
and get that onion soup mix. put that in there and now let's just mix it all up and I'm figuring this is going to simmer for about hour to hour and a half maybe an hour and a half to two hours depending on how what the heat I leave it at all right I'm going to cover this up leave it about three right now and we'll be back all right everyone so it's been about an hour and a half since uh, I let these start simmering and what I did was I let it just simmer the entire hour and a half and then I put cornstarch in there to thicken up all the juice and as you can see the gravy has a really nice thickness to it and that tastes really good too. Glenn loves the way it tastes and that makes me happy because <laughs> if you don't like it then I'm not happy either. <laughs> so so yeah this came out really good right now the tenderness oops sorry sh shaking the camera the tenderness of the beef chips is really good and the taste is really good so I'm just uh, getting ready to cook up the egg noodles or the butter noodles and obviously we're gonna have noodles with it so I will be back when we're ready to plate all right everyone so there is our beef tips over uh, butter noodles and Glenn is having some uh, cranberry sauce and I'll have some applesauce but like I said the flavor turned out amazing on these beef tips and the thickness of the gravy is just spot-on so um, yeah I'm very happy with how they turned out so we're gonna enjoy our meal and with that I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this I appreciate all of you so remember to live life be good to yourself and be good to others until next time